A Raleigh man while in police custody has brought a well-known civil rights attorney to town. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Ron Carter. This afternoon, attorney Ben Crump stood alongside the family of Daryl Williams demanding change within the Raleigh Police Department. CBS 17's Dina Harley was at that news conference today. And Dina, what exactly are Crump and the family looking for right now? Yeah, really, they're looking for justice. Let me show you this memorial here behind me. This is the ex exact spot where Williams first was approached by police that night on January 17th. You can see this growing memorial here with candles and some flowers. But those who gathered today say they want the officers involved in the incident fired and prosecuted. They also want a permanent end to proactive policing here in Raleigh. When Miss Williams reached out to me, you know, a mother crying out for help to get justice should make all of us want to answer the call. Dozens of people sat inside of Mount Peace Baptist Church in Raleigh on Thursday as National Civil Rights Attorney Ben Crump joined the family of Daryl Tyree Williams, who died while in Raleigh police custody. That was my firstborn. That was my only son. He shouldn't be dead. My, my, my. And I want justice. Officers say they were doing something called proactive policing on Rock Quarry Road back on January 17th when they say they suspected alcohol and marijuana in the same car Williams was in. After officers stopped him and attempted to arrest him, they say he became resistant, and that's when tasers were deployed. Right now, you're going to get tased again. In body camera footage, Williams can be heard telling officers he had a heart problem. Legally, Attorney Crump says this is where officers broke the law. When you do an act that you know is going to compromise the health and the safety of a human being, that is manslaughter. He says this case in particular compelled him to come to Raleigh. It has to be something that shocks my conscience because there are so many of these injustices that you can't handle them all, but it's those that shock your conscience that makes you be compelled to act. Six officers who were involved in that incident were then placed on administrative leave. Now, earlier today, I did reach out to Raleigh police for any comment or update on the investigation. I have not yet heard back from them. Live in Raleigh, Dina Harley, CBS 17 News. All right, Dina, thank you.